I don't know about you, but the days are all starting to mush together. If you've been feeling down lately and just plain stuck in general, well, the bad and good news is that you're not alone. Students all over the world, just like you and me, are being hit hard with this unmotivated rut. And because we're all in the same boat here, I've done quite some extensive research on the topic, not to toot my own horn, but just because I really needed the push myself. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Mascara and I help students and young professionals like yourself achieve their academic and career goals without neglecting their mental health. So sit back, relax, and let's take a look at the top five practical ways to get out of a rut. Taking action without motivation. If you've been following me for a while, thumbs up if you're an OG, then you're more than familiar with what I refer to as the Bill Burr method. A common mistake is assuming that one needs to feel motivated in order to act. If you scratch your head at that advice of getting motivated, to get motivated, then look at it this way. Constructive action builds momentum. What I'm trying to say is that the best way to get out of a rut is to do something, even if it appears small and meaningless. If you don't feel motivated to write that 40-page case study, start by just opening a new Word document and typing in the title. Or bring up whatever comes to mind about the subject at hand, not thinking about grammar, aesthetics, or spelling mistakes. Just start writing. If you need a little extra push, use my Bill Burr method. It adds a dash of humor that does wonders to motivation. If your mind starts saying, I don't feel like it, open that laptop, start writing, and say to yourself in this exact tone, I don't give a fuck, looks like I'm doing it, looks like I'm doing it. Progression. Another trap we often fall into when it comes to a period of own motivation is believing that a short burst of extreme productivity will put an end to our bad streak. It doesn't. Here's the thing about excess in any area of your life. It's unsustainable. Progression slash improvement is. When you're in a rut, start with one small thing at a time. Massage your way into your idea of success or productivity. Add one habit at a time and don't beat yourself up if you fail. Tomorrow is a new day, so just try again. I want to do an entire video on perfectionism soon and I'd really appreciate it if you let me know if you're interested, so give this video a thumbs up if you are and I'll have that ready for you as soon as I can. Personal projects. This is my one-stop shop for when I'm feeling extra hella unmotivated and can't manage to do anything right. Quick wins, mini personal projects help build your self-confidence and act as the perfect starting point that can trickle down into all areas of your life and create that momentum that you're after. That's why you see so many declutter videos or cooking challenges. They are easy ways to boost morale and you guessed it, get out of a slump. Even if the personal project is completely unrelated to what you're trying to get motivated in, this trick still works. For example, when I go swimming four days a week, I find myself being motivated to eat healthier, to want to get organized, and get work done. Analyze your consumption. Speaking of eating healthy, it's shocking how few of us make the link between feeling sluggish and what we intake. If you're stuck in a rut, take a minute and look around you. What have you been consuming lately? And I'm not just talking about junk food, but also entertainment, air quality, relationships. What do you take in? If you really take this exercise seriously, you'll soon come to realize that it's not your motivation that's messed up, it's your patterns. Eating and sleeping poorly can make it difficult for you to focus on conference calls, you feel tired and bloated, and I mean, who can blame your mind and body for not feeling like it when their only fuel is McDonald's and five hours of sleep? The proximity rule. This kind of goes hand in hand with my last point. If you want to promote a behavior, put it in your face. If you want to snack healthy, wash those grapes, put them in the bowl, and put that bowl on your work desk so it's only one reach away. 
if you want to review those formulas, take a screenshot and make it your screensaver because we both know the day where you will go anywhere without your cell phone will never happen. It's there, it's easy, accessible, and it will increase your chances of doing point number one, which was, let's test your listening skills, taking action without motivation. And therefore, voila, the circle is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to me if you like what you see because I post videos once a week. Bye guys!